Bahamas Power and Light Company officials are taking some heat as power cuts continue here in the capital and on other islands smack in the middle of the hot summer season. Well, yesterday, BPL issued a statement asking for patience as rolling blackouts continue to negatively impact many of BPL's more than 100,000 consumers, compounding misery this summer. And today, the company's CEO explains their next move. It's a fixable problem. Uh, so it's really at this point uh, a matter uh, of us both uh, making some improvements on the process side, but also uh, on the capital, uh, on the capital investment side. She's only been in the Bahamas for 10 weeks, but Bahamas Power and Light Company's CEO Pamela Hill has assured the public that the company's generation problems currently being experienced across the Bahamas will be fixed. She admitted the maintenance problems affecting BPLs, Clifton Pier, and Blue Hills power plants are the main reason behind the frequent power outages nationwide. BPL's CEO revealed at a press conference Wednesday that additional rental generation units and reconnecting a power plant that's been offline are two short-term solutions to boost the power demand this summer. We certainly um, made sure that we ordered uh, the generators um, and, and, and not just simply said, oh my goodness, it's getting hot, we better hurry up and get these things on board, but met with the vendors and, and made sure uh, that we could negotiate a deal um, that really met the needs um, of the country. Now, Hill didn't provide an exact figure on the cost of repairs or rental generation when asked by reporters, but attributed it to the company's maintenance budget. She did indicate, though, that utilizing renewable energy is a possibility. BPL CEO was also questioned about a proposed tax hike and whether or not discussions have begun on BPL looking into the high power bills of more than 3,000 residents. We know that um, that there's a gap uh, between uh, what our current revenues are um, versus what the the day-to-day -day expenses are um, and thus the cash flow uh, that's really needed in order to operate the business. Um, but as you can imagine, we are one of, of many government agencies that the government has to, has to manage and has to really determine um, what the proper capital structure is and the timing of that structure. Those talks have not begun. Um, and uh, certainly I know uh, the DPM is probably giving some additional thought to what the structure of that uh, might look like. We don't have any such program uh, that is in place right now. So certainly um, we would uh, expect our customers to be making the, uh, the payments uh, on their bill that would be required. 